Grade 12. Vocabulary Consolidation. Units 5 and 6. Today we are going to have two different objectives. The first one, consolidate use of vocabulary in different contexts. The second one, form new words correctly using prefixes and suffixes. Our first question will be dictionary entry. You will have four dictionary entries. It could be a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb. It's going to give you definition. Sometimes it will give you an example, then a sentence with an underlined word. The question will be based on the above entries, which meaning does the underlined word pillow refer to? So you read the sentence, try to guess the meaning, and find which dictionary entry has the same meaning of the underlined word. Now what I'm asking you to pause the video and try to read the dictionary entries, guess the meaning, answer the question. Now let's check the correct answer. Yes, number three. Aha, it was such a sad feeling that it moved him to tears. It means to cause someone to have strong feelings, such as sadness or happiness. Phrasal verbs reads the following. I was in a hurry, so I got in the car and which of the following best fits the above gap? Run over, drove off, broke down, crashed in. Awesome. Got in the car and drove off. He left in his car. I keep on weight, even though I've been cutting back on the junk food. So coming on weight, putting on, cutting on weight, passing on weight. Yeah, excellent. Putting on weight. The plane, a mountainside, ran over, drove off, crashed into, went through. Which one? Excellent. Crashed into. The rescue driver, a cat crossing the road, ran over, drove off, broke down, went through. Yes, excellent. Ran over a cat. He down was flu and couldn't go to work yesterday. Cut down, came down, broke down, passed down. Yes, came down with flu. Our car and we had to push it off the road. Ran over, drove off, broke down, went through. Yes, very good, broke down. I'm trying to down on caffeine. So, cut down, put down, pass down, come down. Excellent. Cut down. And now let's go to idioms. Read the following. His little brother is a real pain in the neck. Which of the following gives the same meaning as the underlined idiom? So, pain in the neck means he never keeps secrets, he's posy and arrogant, he's easily fooled by others, he's annoying and troublemaker. Excellent! So pain in the neck means he's annoying and a troublemaker. The second idiom, be careful of what you say around her as she has a big mouth. So has a big mouth means have a huge mouth has a very funny character she's likely to reveal personal information she's always keeping 
what you say deeply hidden? Excellent. She's likely to reveal personal information. Fill in the gaps with the correct words from the list. So value, campaign, access, intake, aware. Number one, all the stuff have to the internet. Yes, easy, have access to the internet. Number two, milk had a great nutritional. Nutritional what? Very good, nutritional value. Drivers should be of the road rules. Yeah, should be aware of the road rules. Number four, the government have just launched it to stop rash driving. It's very easy, launch the campaign. Thank you. Again, fill in the gaps with correct words from the list, arrays, sporting, duplicate, imitate gadgets. If you summon, you copy what they do or produce. So you huh, imitate. Excellent. Number two, we visited the local markets and so wonderful of fruits and vegetables. Uh -huh. Arrays, wonderful arrays. Number three, the kitchen is equipped with all the latest, yes, gadgets. There are many events in our country. There are many sporting events in our country. Fill in the gaps with correct words from the list. Duplicated, basic, prescribed, cured, pudum. Number one, they began to chat to relieve the of the flight. Excellent. The pudum. Number two, flour is a ingredient of bread. Awesome, basic ingredient. Number three, scientists hope that their findings may be elsewhere. Yes, may be duplicated. Number four, this medicine is often for headache. So, yes prescribed. Uh -huh. Word formation. Fill in the gap with the correct word from the words in brackets. Number one. Here are a few value tips. Tips noun needs an adjective from value. Uh -huh. Valuable. Omit A, add A, B, L, E. Number two. People are becoming for more aware of environment issue. So I need an adjective. AL, environmental. Number three, our budget will be significant affected by these new cuts. Affected verb, we need an adverb. Excellent, significantly we add LY. Number four, he suffered a gradual, gradual adjective, so we need a noun, a noun from lose. Wonderful, loss. Uh -huh. Fill in the gap with correct word from the words in brackets. Number one, political changes will impact on the globe economy. So I need an adjective from globe. Yes, global, we omit E, add AL. Number two, she organizes her finance affairs very efficiently. Excellent, financial, we omit E, add IAL. His car is in Excel condition, so the additive will be excellent. We add L-E-N-T. Number four, water is Combine of hydrogen and oxygen. I need a noun. So, combination.
Finally, don't forget to do your homework on Teams today. Thank you very much.